women an nisa 153 the people of the scripture challenge you to bring down to them a book from the sky they had asked moses for something even greater they said show us god plainly the thunderbolt struck them for their wickedness then they took the calf for worship even after the clear proofs had come to them yet we pardoned that and we gave moses a clear authority and we raised the mount above them in accordance with their covenant and we said to them enter the gate humbly and we said to them do not violate the sabbath and we received from them a solemn pledge but for their violation of their covenant and their denial of god's revelations and their killing of the prophets unjustly and their saying our minds are closed in fact god has sealed them for their disbelief so they do not believe except for a few and for their faithlessness and their saying against mary a monstrous slander and for their saying we have killed the messiah jesus the son of mary the messenger of god in fact they did not kill him nor did they crucify him but it appeared to them as if they did indeed those who differ about him are in doubt about it they have no knowledge of it except the following of assumptions certainly they did not kill him rather god raised him up to himself god is mighty and wise there is none from the people of the scripture but will believe in him before his death and on the day of resurrection he will be a witness against them due to wrong doing on the part of the jews we forbid them good things that used to be lawful for them and for deterring many from god's path and for their taking usury although they were forbidden it and for their consuming people's wealth dishonestly we have prepared for the faithless among them a painful torment but those among them firmly rooted in knowledge and the believers believe in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed before you and the observers of prayers and the givers of charity and the believers in god in the last day upon these we will bestow an immense reward we have inspired you as we have inspired noah and the prophets after him and we inspired abraham and ishmael and isaac and jacob and patriarchs and jesus and job and jonah and aaron and solomon and we gave david the psalms some messengers we have already told you about while some messengers we have not told you about and god spoke to moses directly messengers delivering good news and bringing warnings so that people may have no excuse before god after coming of the messengers god is powerful and wise but god bears witness to what he revealed to you he revealed it with his knowledge and the angels bear witness though god is a sufficient witness those who disbelieve and repel from god's path have gone far astray those who disbelieve and transgress god is not about to forgive them nor will he guide them to any path except to the path of hell where they will dwell forever and that is easy for god o mankind indeed this messenger may peace be upon him has come to you with the truth from your lord so believe in him for your own good but if you disbelieve deny his prophethood then bear in mind that god is beyond any need of you because whatever is in the heavens and the earth belongs to god and god is all knowing most wise o people of the scripture 
do not exaggerate in your religion and do not say about God except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, is the messenger of God and his word that he conveyed to Mary and a spirit from him. So believe in God and his messengers and do not say three, refrain, it is better for you. God is only one God. Glory be to him that he should have a son. To him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth and God is sufficient protector. The Messiah does not disdain to be a servant of God, nor do the favored angels. Whoever disdains his worship and is too arrogant, he will round them up to himself altogether. But as for those who believe and do good works, he will pay them their wages in full and will increase his grace for him. But as for those who disdain and are too proud, he will punish them with an agonizing punishment. And they will find for themselves, apart from God, no Lord and no Savior. O people, a proof has come to you from your Lord, and we sent down to you a clear light. As for those who believe in God and hold fast to him, he will admit them into mercy and grace from him and will guide them to himself in a straight path. They ask you for a ruling, say, God gives you a ruling concerning the person who has neither parents nor children. If a man dies and leaves no children and he had a sister, she receives one half of what he leaves and he inherits from her if she leaves no children. But if there are two sisters, they receive two-thirds of what he leaves. If the siblings are men and women, the male receives the share of two females. God makes things clear for you, lest you err. God is aware of everything.